Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited to be sharing this hardcover journal with you all. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I decided to do is show you the journal in its in its blank state. So I have put this together and I wanted to show you the pieces, um, the pages, I should say, before I have added ephemera. So the front and back covers, I've collaged these vintage pieces and I will link below the digitals that I have used. Um, I have combined quite a few for this one. It's just what inspired me um, when I was thinking of the um, botanical fee. So I will link those below to the um, people that I have used their digitals. Primarily though, it is a combination of mixed pages and variety of pages as I like to use. I will have a paper sounds only version to this video if you wanted to take a look at that soon. But I thought I would just, um, you know, show you how a journal changes from its beginning state for me anyways, and then what I do next. And my thought process for this one was that it would have removable ephemera. So the pieces that I wanted to add to it are pieces that you can completely take away and then you'll have this uh, plain journal to start with again. So I will just let you see the flip through. I will put a little music on and then I'll come back and chat when I've added the pieces. And I will also have the timestamp when I've done that below. So you can check that out. Now this journal has five signatures, but the center signature is these pockets. I collaged an envelope here. Um, it's one of those business envelopes. And then I added additional pockets in the center love how the uh, doily spring came out on this page and it's cardstock that I've used here and then again more collaged on um, the other side of the envelope on this side and I will be adding more to it um, when I show you the uh, journal with the ephemera added very shortly. And at the back of this um, journal, on the back page, I did a collage with a vintage French um, envelope and a vintage receipt. And I just love the collaging on the front and back covers. Hi, so here we are with the um, ephemera added. I kept the ephemera removable, including the closure which I love. I found this perfect little quote on this uh, really nice charm and I thought I would add it to the ribbon, which as you saw, it, it is removable. The cover, I believe that image is free from Artie Mays and I loved it so much I had to use it. And again, I did my collage with actual vintage pieces on the front and back covers. And then, as I said before, I will link below the digitals that I have used. Um, I just don't want to forget anyone doing a flip through. So as you can see, um, I've added pieces by paper clipping them. This paper clip was inspired by Caroline's Craft Tree and she ha makes very similar ones and I just really had inspiration to make a similar one myself. So you can see that adds color. This is actually from a fabric piece that I am um, I scanned and copied and then the other piece coming up here it's just um, using some uh, book pages and a little butterfly so I have sprayed the pages coffee stained some of the pages but you can see that you have lots of space to journal or add pictures um, you know however you would want to use this journal 
Again, paper clip some additional pieces that I've added to it. This one is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I did um, do the both, both the front and back. I really like that image. Here I've added in this glassine bag, which is from Jane Eyes Craft Shop, and I will also link that below. This, I believe, is from Marty Mays. So, as you can see, it's just a variety of pieces that I have um, added to this journal, and I really love how it turned out. So this is how I would use my journals, just add pieces as I go, things that inspire me. Um, but I thought I would show you guys, um, you know, a sort of embellished journal with removable parts, if that makes sense. This is one of those um, paper what, uh, collages. I, I forgot the name of it. Um, but I thought I would add one of those. And I do have a tutorial on how I make these envelope pockets. I'm sure there's lots of ways to do them, but I have I did make a tutorial a little while back on how to do that. This piece is from a repurposed um, tissue box, and I really liked how that turned out. And then, of course, the envelope has um, three separate pockets, so the top pocket, the one in the center. This was inspired by Roxy Creations. And then here I just added a little piece. This is from... Mm, Tracy Fox, and then a piece from uh, Genevieve Designs. That's a little tag. So see what I mean? And then, of course, the envelope I decorated with Anya's Digitals, which is on a whimsical adventure. Anyways, I will link that tutorial above and below. If you wanted to take a look on how to make that uh, pocket, you can just add it anywhere in a journal. And then here's another piece that I've added. I haven't attached, it's just been added, folded over. This is from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. And I think it just adds a nice touch to that. You can journal on that page, etc. So this is my collaged envelope. I did add a guest check from Janine's shop and then I just did a little bit of collaging here to make a little tuck spot for the um, additional journaling card. And then the next pocket as well has um, a little tag from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. And there's a center pocket, which I've added more pieces to it. So as you can see, I kept the center so that, um, you know, you'd have lots of places to add, let's say photos or ephemera or things that you were thinking of adding to your journal when you were ready to um, journal in it or to add that memory. And um, yes, I've also used things from uh, Jibid. Um, and I will link that below as well. And then I did these a while back as well um, on vintage um, I printed those images on that vintage transparency and I cut those up. So again, just additional pieces. This tag is from our Victoria Designs. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just, as I said, I should just link everything below and not try to remember. Additional journaling pieces. And again, this is the back of the collage to envelope. I added an additional pocket in there. And then the, this image here on this uh, page is from uh, A Whimsical Adventure. Here I added another little tag with some fabric that had floral, so of course it goes with the theme. And these uh, doilies are like 10 inches in centimeters, so, in, in diameter I should say, so they're quite big. So I fold them into pockets. And again, another um, uh, paper pack that I like to add. And then just the other pocket here as well. So as you can see, it gets quite full. And if I were to attach a lot of the pieces to it, um, I'd have a bit of a difficult time journaling in it because it's it, it's hard to um, lay it flat with all the pieces. So this is a tiny little envelope and that is from uh, Tracy Fox, I believe. It's a freebie. Um, I did collage on this envelope as well. So I made it into like, you know, two pockets, top and bottom. And then I, the other side also has a bit of a collage. And so I've just been inspired by everyone making these gorgeous collages. And it's a great way to repurpose these envelopes. One of the paper clips again, um, that was inspired by Caroline's Craft Tree. And then here I just had added another journaling card. I added that image to that um, Polaroid looking um, image. So uh, as always, questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Um, if you would like to purchase a journal similar to this one, please let me know. I am so inspired to make more, but this one it is spoken for. So um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time.